Only people who made it awkward, these ones. For what reason? We'll never really know. We try to squash the beef, we try to resolve things. And it would get better for a time and then get worse. Better for a time and then worse. I'm telling you, it feels like I'm living above my boyfriend's now ex-girlfriend who's just trying to be relevant. So one day, a few months ago now, we decided invite the first time ever we had lived in this apartment for at least six to eight months before we invited anybody over because of rona because of precautions anti-socialness we finally let people in now the day that we were saying we said we were having a party mr putty says no i'm concerned about rona however I'm gonna have our own party upstairs and invite this different group of friends. Total high school, like, oh, they're having a birthday party on that day, so I'm gonna have my birthday party on this day, or whatever. Pettiness, I tell you. Regardless of how I feel about this person or people, I'm willing to move on. Nothing so. So we invite everybody over. We don't really hear anything. We don't know if they're coming down. You know, everyone's welcome. Now, people come over. It was one of those things where no one was coming over, and I was like, is anybody coming over? Eventually, two hours later, people came over. It was all the friends of Jonathan. Everybody was getting along. It was good vibes, everything. Hit 10 o'clock. People came over at like 7 or 8. I was getting ready for bed. I was like, okay, cool. Nice seeing you guys. Peace. Went in the bathroom, took all my makeup off, and I just hear a bunch of people come in. Who it is, I don't know, but I figured it was them. So I'm like, oh, fuck. I could go to bed, or I could entertain. Put my makeup back on, which is a feat in itself for any females out there, and go back outside. This guy just invites people I've never met before, people I've never seen, into our apartment. Immediately I get that vibe. You can tell that I was just being talked about, or was about to be talked about, the way that the people from upstairs, it was like three girls, two guys, another one of their friends. It was so awkward and tense, and I'm the type of person where you can tell how I feel. I can't mask it, and I try not to look and feel pissed off and uncomfortable in my own home. So eventually, I just didn't even look at it. I didn't even look at them. I just let it go. Mr. Petty uses my bathroom, and at one point, I walk towards the kitchen, which is the bathroom is along that way. He comes out of my bathroom and just surpasses me. Doesn't look at me, doesn't say hi, nothing. 
just immediately bad vibes. You can tell he had been drinking, whatever, whatever. So everybody had been there for two hours or so. Long story short, at the very end of it, I was like, you know, boyfriend, Jonathan, you can move the party upstairs. I'm personally, I might go up there, but I might not because their other friend had invited me. And I guess when I wasn't around, in front of everybody, when I wasn't there, my boyfriend says, hey, you know, can you move the party upstairs to Mr. Petty? Do you know what he said in front of everybody? Yeah, sure. But she is not allowed up there. Uh, who? He comes into our house. Doesn't mention about bringing anybody, just comes straight down, door unlocked, comes in, doesn't say hi, doesn't acknowledge me, makes me feel really uncomfortable in my own house, and bans me from going upstairs in front of everybody. Now, I didn't realize what happened until after the fact because he had went back upstairs and everybody was like, whoa, what the app is Mr. Petty's problem. My boyfriend was pissed, rightfully so. He had defended us. He said, F you, go F yourself. We were willing to give him the benefit of the doubt because he had been drinking. If there had been any opportunity to let bygones be moped and bygones, it was that day, it was that night. And he just let it sail with the wind. I wasn't sad or embarrassed because he made himself look like an idiot. So when everybody heard about the rumors, they saw the truth for themselves. And they're like, dude, what the, what's this guy's problem? She's cool, he's happy, like whatever. So the next day, my boyfriend, being the amazing person that he is, still tried to extend the benefit of the doubt and said, dude, you can't be acting like that in here and ban her, you know, because he tried to apologize, Mr. Petty, and so my boyfriend called him out for alienating me in front of everybody. He was like, no, dude, I don't care. He verbatim said that he has a hard time letting go of the past, even though nothing really happened, and he's going to continue to be angry and dislike me. And blame me for everything. Which is just projected anger and frustration towards the wrong person. And they had a problem with me, it was clearly their problem. It's gotten a little bit better. And the stomping and everything is rough. Bad. So after that, Mr. Petty said, I won't act like an a-hole in your house again. And my boyfriend said, yeah, you're right, because you're not allowed in our house after your little shindig. Rightfully so. And I remember one of the girls he brought down was like, Oh, I had heard like this and this and this and basically insinuating that like I was the cause for breaking up the group. And I was like, look, look at what's right in front of you. This is Jonathan and I's home. We've invited everybody and this is the way that it should be and this is the way that it could have been. And it was really good and fun. It was all good energy until Mr. Petty had to act out. You saw animosity and jealousy and everything come out with no explanation. He made himself look like an asshole. 
he had the opportunity to repent, and he kind of did until he didn't when he wasn't sorry for treating me the way that he did in my own life. And we're all done with the meal. So, you know, I tried. He tried. And unfortunately, some people just can't let go. And that's sick and sad. And if that's not psychological mental problems, I don't know what is. So you tell me. But we are closing this chapter.